everyone, so today I am filming a, another voiceover tutorial for you all. I wanted to do a really quick girly makeup look today. I've done quite a bold eyeliner for me. Um, I tend to do like a very smoked out um, natural liner. I don't tend to wear a lot of liner day to day. So I thought I would do a little bit more intense eyeliner and um, yeah, I really like it. I've made a sort of rose gold shimmery pink lid with a little bit of crease definition and um, I've got the bold eyeliner like I said and then I've just sort of finished it off with light bronzed skin and a nice girly pink lip so if you want to see how I created this look today then keep on watching Um, so today I am applying some tape along the outer edge of my eye to create a nice crisp edge for our eye makeup I'm now going to go in with MAC Paint in Bare Canvas and I'm just going to apply this all over my eyelid and blend it up towards my brow bone. Because it has quite a tacky finish I'm just going to go in with the Bourjois Rice Powder and I'm just going to pat that over my eyelid with a large eyeshadow brush. This is just going to create a nice base for our eyeshadows. I'm now going in with the Sleek Storm palette and I'm going in with this shade here, just a lovely light brown which we're going to use as our transition colour. I'm just going to take that on a brush and blend it all into my crease. I'm going to take this darker brown colour here and take it on a denser blending brush and I'm just going to deepen up that outer corner of my crease and just blend it up into that transition shade. For all the brushes that I used for this look, I will make a list in the description box below. So I'm going to take the black shade in the palette and take that on a small pencil brush. I'm just going to apply this right into the outer corner. And what I'm doing is just building up that dark colour and I will be blending it out with a different blending brush. And what I will do is I'll keep going in with that black and the blending brush just until I get the um, depth that I want. I'm going to take a large shader brush and just spray it with some Fix Plus. And what I'm going to do is go in with this shimmery pink shade in the palette and by using the Fix Plus on the brush it's going to give us a nice metallic foil finish to this eyeshadow. So now just going in with this light gold shade and I'm just taking that on the tip of that brush and using it to highlight my inner corner of my eye and also place a little bit underneath my brow bone. So I'm just going back in with that first blending brush and just blending all along the eyeshadow we've just applied. For my eyeliner today I wanted to do something a little bit bolder than usual. So I'm going in with my L'Oreal liquid eyeliner and I'm just taking that all along my upper lash line and just creating a nice dramatic wing. So now the eyes are finished, I'm just going to take off the tape and I'm just going to go in and make sure that the liners match. So I'm going back in that black shade and I'm taking it on an angled brush and I'm just going to press the eyeshadow all along the liquid eyeliner just to set it and make it last all day. I'm just going in with a makeup wipe and just cleaning up any fallout that we may have and I'm just taking that to clean up the wing as well. So I'm just going in with my Bourjois 123 Perfect Foundation and I'm just applying this all over my skin and blending it in with my fingers. I'm just applying a light layer all over the face and then I'm also going in a little bit heavier where I've got any discoloration or blemishes. I'm 
just going in with a Real Technique foundation brush and I'm just going along any areas that I think need blending just a little bit better. So I'm just going along my jawline and around my face. So now I'm going in with my concealer. All my products that I've used will be listed in the description box below. I'm just applying this to any redness or blemishes that I have on the skin and then just blending it out with that same foundation brush. I'm taking my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Light Plus and just setting that foundation and concealer all over my skin. So I'm just going in with my highlight today and I'm using my Pro Longwear Concealer, just taking that underneath my eyes, on my forehead, on my cupid's bow, my chin and just down my nose. I'm just going in and blending that all out with my Sigmax F82 Kabuki brush and just blending all of that concealer into my skin to give my face a nice highlighted look. just going to go in with my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and I'm just taking that on a tapered highlighting face brush from Sigma, just applying this all over the face where I've applied that concealer. I'm now just going to finish off the under eyes and I'm just taking that first transition brown shade on that same blending brush and I'm just blending that underneath my lower lash line. I'm also taking that shimmery rose gold shade that we used for the lid and just applying that on the inner third of my eye and I'm also going to take that black shade on an angled brush and just connect the eyeliner. I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and I'm going to go in with my mascara which is the Maybelline Rocket Volume Waterproof. And I make some crazy faces when I'm doing my mascara. So I'm also going to do my bottom lashes as well with the same mascara. So I'm going to go in with my Body Shop Bronzer and my Chanel Contour Brush. And I'm just applying this for a naturally sort of sun-kissed look. And also mixing it in with my contour, so it makes a very natural contour to the skin. So I'm going in with my Hourglass Blush in Dim Infusion. This has got a lovely bronzy glowy colour. And I'm just going to blend that onto my cheeks with my F10 Sigma Brush. So I'm going in with my eyebrows. If you want to see an updated tutorial on these, then just let me know in the comments below. I will link my current eyebrow routine that I have already filmed in the description box if you want to see sort of an overall eyebrow look. And for the lips today, I'm going in with Angel by MAC. It's a really beautiful girly pink lipstick. I'm just applying this straight from the bullet all over my lips. I'm just going to go in with that rose gold eyeshadow. And I'm just applying that to the inner parts of my lips. I'm just blending it into the lipstick. It just gives a lovely highlighted look. I'm just taking that same highlight eyeshadow shade we use for the inner corner of our eyes, taking that on a stippling brush and just dabbing the excess on the back of my hand just so we're not applying too much to our skin. I'm just applying that over any areas that I want highlighted. 
And that is the overall look complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It's really beautiful bronze skin, girly pink lips and a lovely bold eyeliner. So I hope you all enjoy and I will see you all very soon. Bye. Ah, oh, it's your nose. Oh.